Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Everspace 2. I'm Computer, and if I want to move away from this area of space and, you know, explore the other parts of the universe, I'm going to need a set of keys in order to access the jump gate here at Union Bridge. Possibly they're called bridges, I don't know at the moment, but, uh... Yeah, and in order to get those keys, I need to go to the Neftis Plains. So, let's go there. And there are a lot of new... Oh, speaking of which... Whoa, well, there. Unknown signals, always fun, I think. And we also have an elite here that has seen me. It's the drone gone. It's the other drone gone. Oh, you have armor too. Had. Had armor. So, hello, we're gonna take you. Medicine? Good. Now, what are these? Are these things I can pick up or... No, no, hold on. Destroy communications? Well, I'm guessing that's that. Yes, it was. Destroy fuel tanks? I'm guessing those are... Thank you. Scrap metal, nice. And energy coils. Also, there's another fuel tank somewhere around. Maybe over there? Yep, there it is. And missile turret. Also bad. And then four energy coils. Yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, wow, yes. Done and dusted. Thermogun blueprint. Nice. Common, though. And also, that thing seems like it can open. Question is whether it opens up and lets me have loot or opens up and lets me have enemies. Guessing it's the latter. Nothing there. I've also played around a little bit more with the controls. So, oh, yeah, enemies. Lock onto. Oh. I need a better generator or something so that I don't run out of weapons energy after only two enemies are dead. Also, hello. And. Yeah, medicine. Didn't I pick that up? No, it's a little bit too far out to be the one. I found. And we have more outlaws. Scrap metal. Get him. Good, good, good. And there you are. Primary color. Stardust. Nice. Um, okay, maybe I need to just get away from these guys. Then again, it is... I mean, it is money and loot and experience, but not a lot of it. That looked weird. I'm gonna go say hi. And yes, I've played around a little bit with the controls, and it looks a bit weird now up to the 
right there with Y, Y, and A, A. That's wrong. If I switch over to mouse and keyboard and then we see the correct one, which is holding down left trigger and then holding down Y or A for jump drive or cruise drive. And that works out rather well. And you can set pretty much anything else to also be, you hold down a left trigger and then you all of a sudden have twice as many buttons on your uh, controller. And yeah, kept most everything else the same though, except I think I, hold on, give me a second. Yes, left trigger plus B is all of these things. And left trigger plus X is all of those things because normal X is going down and Y is going up. And since I have an elite controller, I can use the paddles on the back of the controller to go up and down while doing everything else. Which works out rather well for me. But, uh, yeah, let's move over there instead now. It feels like there should be a lot of mining possible around here, but I'm not seeing any mining nodes. So... Mm -hmm. I've been detected. Mm -hmm. I was actually going to... Okay, but Hmm. One issue with the controller is the auto-aim, which is kind of important because of the sensitivity issues, decides to shoot at things that have already exploded. A lot. Which I find frustrating. But also a little bit understandable. Oh wait, hold on. Scrap metal. Nothing else? Nothing else. Unless I'm blind, which, for the record, I kind of am. Not legally, but just in general. Anyway, yeah, I think that's it for this place. Let's go. And while we're outside, let's see, inventory. Nanobots, yes, I will equip you. And I even got four of them, nice. Wish they would, wait, nanobots small. There are probably medium and large and maybe even humongous ones out there that uh, repair more would be nice. Prime shield, yes, I want a better shield. And as I discovered last episode, I can in fact dismantle out here, so I will. Everything else I can only destroy. Crafting, I did get, yes, a thermogun blueprint. And a power casing. All right. Can I fill up here now? No, I don't have enough for any of that. That. It's fine. All right. Um, yes, keys for a uh, jump gate. A lot of stuff here. Well, G and B. Can't say that I missed you. We just met them. I <laughs> know. This is just too obvious. Better take care of that emitter so no one else falls for it. Alright. This is rather conspicuous though. But doesn't seem to be anything. Alright. Let's 
that's not going to hit at this range, sadly. Well, it is nice that they tell me that it's a trap, though. And it's way out here. Oh, well. got their attention. Let's do this. Um, they do indeed. Oh, up here. Okay, that's been taken care of. Very, yes. Um, can I, wait, I can, uh, I can stop it. Yes, and keep some of the cooldown. That is nice. Let's see. We have you, we have, no, you're probably not enough. We have you over there, maybe? Yes. Uh, a worse shield. Although, recharge delay is decreased by uh, many seconds, and shutdown duration is also decreased. I'm gonna dismantle it, though. Yeah. Well, let's go. There, I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, am I going down on a planet now? Oh, I would love, I love it. Nifty station is under attack. Main hub? Come in, main hub. We are in a bit of a pickle here. Please send... Oh, who am I kidding? Rotti, Agneta, everyone. We're doing this alone, people. Hey, need help? No oh, thanks, Sol. Reinforcements. And just in the nick of time, these scoundrels are pummeling us. All right, here we go. I'm in pursuit. Steady Oops. now, Dennings. Take aim before you... Ah, yes, that's much better. Down one. I see him. Uh, three or four now. Oh. Okay, so we're going for that guy instead. Make it five bags and a bottle of port. Sorry. Don't go wrong with a decent strafe, eh, Agneta? There. Well, let's do it. I can see the sky again. Carry on scouting the perimeter while I have a chat with our visitor. Sir, if you don't mind docking here, I'd like to have a word. System recovery routine? That's odd. What is that, actually? Consumable removes most debuffs and resets any debuff buildups. Nice. Very nice indeed. Energy injector, cruise booster... No. Still, uncommon consumable. Didn't know those had uh, rarities as well. Oh, well, I clicked the button, but sure. I've never seen outlaws coming this close to G&B turf. Indeed. Say, you look familiar. You've been here before? No, I'm a wingman from Alcyone Station. We had a bit of server trouble, so I was ordered to come here and get a fresh batch of jump keys. So you weren't sent as reinforcement? Oh, those blasted bureaucrats. There is a tandem squad of outlaws at our doorstep, and all management cares about is a fresh batch of jump keys. I'm sorry to inform you, but you were sent on a fool's errand. The only keys we were given are reserved for my own people. There are none left? None whatsoever. Not even if I was to take care of your outlaw problem? Well, 
In that case, I might be able to think of something. Before you leave, have a look at our ship loadout. There may be something that catches your eye. Only if there's something uh, about my credits that catches yours. I'm gonna restock. There. And... Let's see, another quantum entangler. And also a better... Blaster? Shorter range, sure, but a lot more damage. Tempting, tempting. Earthwine? A superior commodity. Hmm. I am going to sell everything I have. I should have returned home and picked up all of my inventory there, I suppose. And I'm going to sell that too. And ramen, yes. And that one too. In fact, sell that too. And medicine. Uh, yeah, medicine. 160. My missiles are outdated. Thankfully, they have better missiles for me, but uh, no, 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 no. Rockets, cargo unit, plus five. Okay, so the rarity doesn't mean that you're limited to X amount of cargo slots. Because the one I have right now has just four. And the other ones that I've had are all, have all all have all also had just plus four. Playing cybernetic implants, another rare, uh, not another, a rare commodity. Yes, plasma resource. Tax cruise drive. Ionized gas, the most common state of matter in the universe. Drops from fuel tanks and other destructibles near stations and wreckage. Tax, cruise drive. So, this is something I will need at some point. But not quite right now. And... Iron I do also need. But that is a lot. Let's... You had ships. Oh, you look sleek and cool. Also, like a death trap. But I like that cockpit. I like it a lot. Uh, one plus, let's see. One plus. It's a light. Speed overcharge. Ultimate time extender. Bends the space-time continuum to dilate the flow of time around the ship. Oh... You have bullet time. That's cool. You have smaller shields and armor and hull, but better handling and speed. And 800 meter tractor beam. All right, what else? Osprey strike. Hello, X-Wing. Kind of. Osprey. Designed for quick engaging multi-target entanglements uh, the striker class fighter prioritizes damage output as more enemies enter the fray special close combat which is not my forte sadly quantum tether turns the target into a tether anchor that connects them to up to five surrounding enemies uh, probably my enemies not their enemies who will also receive all damage applied to the target Damage increases by 5% for each tethered enemy. That sounds really awesome and cool. But, as I've discovered, I'm my, I'm not very good at firing at the things I want to fire at. But maybe if I target it first and then use the ult, maybe. Hmm. You have slightly lower shields, but armor is increased and hull is very increased. Uh, potentially. Also, how much do you cost? Purchase. Oh, hold on. Um, why can't I? Ah, there. So, even though purchase options at the bottom is kind of grayed out, it is grayed out because I can't afford it. All right. I can't afford it. No, no, I can get an interceptor. Or a wasp. 
Mm. 90% less shields, 20% less armor. Handling is much better, though. You have more armor, more handling, but less hull and shields. Hmm. Weapon overdrive. That does sound nice. You cost 30,000. Vindicator. Hold on. Oh, wow, that's... Hmm. Can I make that a little bit darker? Serving as a personal carrier, the Vindicator class fighter reconstitutes reconstitutes battlefield wreckage into drones boosted shields compensate the little room for armor due to the onboard drone hardware but you still have a lot more armor than my current ship your handling is less but that's a good thing for me the speed is also less which is not oh and reanimator destroy Destroyed enemies may leave behind a wreck that can be salvaged to spawn an allied drone that persists between locations. You can have up to five drones active at a time, gain 100% increased shield capacity that is reduced by 20% for each spawned drone. Oh, nice. Okay. So if I have five drones, I'm at not zero shields, maybe, but at um whatever this is maybe and then it drops down to 102 maybe hmm. uh, greatly increases your drone's fire rate and synchronizes them to attack your locked target temporarily spawns any missing drones for the duration of the effect and then we also have a passive drones regenerate one percent hull per second that does sound nice if you can increase that, though. That means just 50 seconds of non-combat means your drones are back up to 100%. That would be nice. But uh, 30,000. Or 15 if I sell my current ship. I might have to go on a rampage between missions. What about you? Nemesis, hey, this is this the exact same ship I have right now. And yet it costs 31. Is that a, yeah, it, it is, but it has more everything than my current one. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy anything right now. Although I kind of want to. I'm gonna try to get this, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he has uh, an, a mission for me. Clear the crystal caverns of raiders, clear the desert mine of raiders. Sure. And My tech advisor transferred data concerning two nearby mines, each harboring about half a dozen rapscallions. Got it. Just leave it to me. Wonderful. And Godspeed. Hello. Oh, hello. That was probably an enemy, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Loving this. Great. A detonator drone. I yeah, like it where died. This is going. Maybe I can do some mining while I'm here. Nice. Thank you. Clothing and more nanobots, and I'm gonna equip those. Just in case. Probably can't go under there now. No.
Wait, hold on. How did I miss that? Thank you. Now, could go down here. In fact, I probably should. Yeah, it sees me. This Magnetic. Going, Eddie. Yes. Pushes the target towards the aim direction. Target receives 100% increased collision damage for five seconds. The target's level must not exceed your own level plus two. Two charges. Warfare device, but it comes with charges. Weird. Also, a lot of money. Yep. Half a dozen. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Device upgrades. Now it wants me to go up there. Wait, that's the entrance. It wants me then to go to the Crystal Caverns. Okay, I got it. So I'm gonna do this. Maybe it'll give me some more situational awareness in this. Which, I mean, it would be odd if that happened, but also kind of cool. Yeah, I like this. I wish more space games did this. All of them should do it, in fact. But anyway. Kinda doesn't work in... Uh, hmm. Hey, you! This cave is ours now. No, it isn't. Uh, because you killed everyone inside? In that case, shouldn't it be mine now? <laughs> yes. Fine. Let's check the other cave. Yes. I um, I like that. Anyway. Uh as I was saying, I think it only really works in six degrees of freedom. Um Games. Oh, hello. Looks like they made themselves at home here. They even had time to put up a missile silo. Yes. There. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, my favorite mission in X Men Alliance is the tunnel run. Oh. I think I got them all. Uh. In FD station, expect things to be a lot calmer from now on. Thank you. We are in your debt. I'm glad I could help. Heading back to your place now. You really should give me one of those ships as payment. Oh, and the the keys, of course. Yes, 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 yes. But mainly leadership. I wonder... I wonder if there are any secrets around here. Like, you never know. If there are any other mines, for instance. Or wreckage, like the one I almost just saw there. And here. Hmm. Well. Maybe. No, those are just exhaust ports for something. Don't worry about it, I'm just stealing your resources. 
I need them, you see. Not for a lot, but uh, I, I need them. Whoa. Alright. There. Gonna have to give this place a twice over later. For now, let's talk. So, about those keys. This is highly unofficial, but there is a decommissioned jump gate at the Charybdis junkyard that may contain old key signatures. Uh, I was hoping for a more straightforward solution. It is indeed a dubious solution, but for a dubious character. You see, while you were gone, I ran a background check. Your name is Adam Roslin. You are a fugitive sought by the Colonial Fleet. Scrap. Didn't expect a G&B officer to be so diligent. Well, we have a bit of time on our hands out here. I also learned that you were a wingman assigned to Craig Callahan's squad. A wingman who apparently died defending a doomed engineer. Just because Callahan abandoned him didn't make him doomed. And that is precisely why I am helping you. Because in management's eyes, we too are a lost cause. The yields in CETO are drying up. Director Blakemore is making more profit from our life insurance than from what we actually mine. Everyone should get out while they can. I'll search the junk gate for those key signatures then. At Charybdis Bowl, yes. And should you require some additional funds, we have a few assignments on the job board. Sounds good. Thanks, and good luck. Likewise, Mr. Roslin. Out here, we all need it. Wow, that is bleak. Like, the BNG... That the company is the beneficiary of the life insurance? Holy wow. Yeah, no, no. Wow. Just, just plain old wow. That's... Whew. Anyway, I, ooh, I can make a better flat cannon. I probably should, actually. And a coil gun. Is that not what I have at the moment? But I do have an uncommon one. Ooh. Hmm. Well, a better flat cannon, at least. I'm gonna need to do a lot more of that. No. Let's not risk it. And just build a normal one. Thank you. Oh, it's a little bit better. Equip. Thank you. And modules, shields. Could make one. Would probably be better than what I have right now, but um, no, no. Let's wait with that. Inventory. We have the old flat cannon that I'm going to dismantle. We have the, these things that I should probably. Oh, high capacity rockets. They have no homing, though. Hmm. I'm going to dismantle them. And better armor. Slightly less repair per skill. Not a lot, though. Not enough that I'd be worried about it. And shop. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. Oh, that actually made me a la... Good. I can now make rockets. Excellent. And you... I think I have... Yes, yes. Good. I need more crystal diodes, though. Hmm. Four levels before I can do this. Actually, hold on. I can upgrade my other device, which I haven't used. I haven't used this one either, I suppose. See, I can change you to something else, though. I got magnetic repulsor. Increases collision damage for five seconds. Right. So I can basically force push or fusroda things into walls. But I generally fight outside in space without any walls. So let's just upgrade what I have. There. And I cannot upgrade you anymore. Yeah. And, uh, 
why do I have this little circle here? It's not because I am there, it's something else? Cruise drive. 12k, no, I'm not gonna put that in there. Can give it all the plasma though. Repairs. This one I can actually do. I don't want to invest that much money into it, though. Never mind, never mind. The 12k is how much money I have. The investment, uh, the, the number below is how much I should invest. Pay only 7%. Well, I'll save money, I suppose. Yeah. Good. And that did remove the little triangle. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find here. And then... Um, I'll see you next episode. So with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Everspace 2, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time. <laughs>